Alright guys, welcome to video number two on this series of uh, virtual DJ7 for beginners. I am DJ Max and um, thank you for watching the videos first than anything. I would like to um, say once again that I am not an expert. I don't think I am a DJ expert because if I was I wouldn't be living the life I'm living. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I've been DJing for a while, um, probably from 14, 15 years now, and uh, I've seen a lot of things. Uh, great, I've met many great, great people, very good DJs, very talented people. And uh, anyways, I'm just trying to reach out to the people that is trying to get into DJ because I remember, especially when I went to the computer mode it was very difficult to find help so most of this stuff I had to figure it out on my own and um, I want to share it with you guys so um, if you have a comment if you uh, don't like the way I do things or whatever uh, you're more than welcome to leave a comment you're more than welcome to post a video response and uh, I'll feedback will be greatly appreciated and um, well I hope this series of videos is helping you out guys on the l last two videos or I mean on the last video because it's in two parts we were talking about the how to uh, configure virtual DJ we already changed the skin we already put our main settings we have our audio controls set up and and, and ready to go so what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I'm going to do a bit of a walkthrough uh, of this skin of about all the buttons and all the controls and what they do and what what they are for. And uh, once again, I uh, have my own terminology on things. Um, I've never had any professional training on this. I am by any I, I am not you know an employee of virtual DJ I have nothing to do with them guys so this is merely just me sharing my knowledge with you so uh, let, let's let's just based on that I'm gonna go from uh, top to bottom and uh, and okay over here obviously we have we wanna close the virtual DJ maximize minimize restore our configuration button which we already visit it we have a little clock here and this little meter here which is really helpful um, I don't know obviously what kind of uh, computer you guys are running but I would definitely suggest that you have one of the better ones uh, because Virtual DJ has a very powerful sound engine to it it's very 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 cool and trust me, I've used Tractor, I've used um, Serato, I've used a, a lot of uh, products out there. And um, for my own personal preference, I like to go with Virtual DJ. I don't know why. It, it all I always it it always draws me back, and I really like it. It's very easy to use. It's very fun to use, and um, but it's a little touchy sometimes so that's why I really suggest that you get a computer that it's um, one of the better ones a faster one I'm, I'm not really very techy into computers I have a I know I have a triple core on this computer and um, I have four gigs no six gigs of RAM and I I, I don't know if that's too much or or too little but it runs fine on this computer and another thing guys when you are running virtual DJ on the computer just um, for safety sake just run virtual DJ on the computer don't run anything else I strongly suggest that you close the messengers the all that stuff that uses resources because you want your sound engine to have as much room to move around as possible okay now for those of you who DJ in virtual worlds um, perhaps in Second Life or whatever yeah 
you need to have a viewer open if you don't have a you know like uh, access to another PC or to another uh, computer okay alright so that's our CPU meter then we have here our rhythm button if we click it you see that it changed it, it just changes the way we see the this this stop bar here and uh, I'll, I'll go through through that in a second um, doesn't really make any difference it's for whatever you you like it I I stick with this one which uh, would be the this one it's like the black one and uh, the reason I use this one it's because when you load uh, and here let me let me load I'm gonna so load the same track when you load the this the tracks you can see them you can see the beats up there and you can see if they're off like right there and um, you know put them together or play with them or with your time codes it, it's very very helpful really really helpful and uh, I, I don't know I just I just stick with this one these three buttons here I don't really know what they're for uh, I don't use them but I, I think they're pretty self-explanatory I mean you're more than welcome to play around with them I, I don't think you can hurt anything uh, over here we have our crossfade uh, th this this button here changes th this top view up here um, that's for video transitions if you have clip banks uh, that's for time code use. Uh, I don't know what that one's for. <laughs> and that's our uh, crossfaders, uh, our EQ crossfaders, which it's really cool if you uh, if you're using only the mouse to mix. Uh, it it's really helpful. Okay, it, and and once again, this is for beginners. And if if you have MIDI controllers and you have time codes and you know what you're doing and so don't look at this video because it's boring but if you're a beginner and you really want to know how this piece of software works and how to make the best of it if you only have a computer and you only have a mouse and you want to sound really really pro and really good and really professional then go along over here we have our, our, our volume for our cue and our mix right and then we have our headphone level right there okay now over here we have two decks they're uh, blue and red and they're pretty much the same on each side they're it's pretty symmetrical it's uh... G it gives you the feeling of a real uh... or not a real but uh... like an actual physical uh... dj setup on where you have the buttons and the knobs and uh, and always you have your mixer here in the middle which um, which is it's really cool it, it's very easy to get familiar with and uh, I'm gonna go through the buttons with you and 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 the different sections of it um, let's go on this side uh, no I'm sorry let's go with this blue side up here and we're gonna be using this a lot I'm, I'm gonna be uh, uh, on the following videos, on the following tutorials, I'm going to be using this this part here a lot. This is like a, an X-ray uh, per se of your of your track of your song. This is how you can tell when, for example, when the intro and there's a little break there, and then we probably we have an instrumental uh i don't know build up there and then we have this vocal break and then we have more beats and then we have a long break here and uh we have our outro here 